right, y'all. Welcome back to Who's Your Mama, Who's Your Girl. My name is Lily, and this is episode 10. I'm so excited. Um, today, we were going to be making a cherry pie, but as you know, we made that in the last video. So today, we're actually making a black and blue pie. So that's blackberries and blueberries, obviously. But yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm really excited. Um, I know that we've done a lot of fruit pies, but don't worry, savory pies are coming. Um, just around the corner. But yeah, we're gonna finish out June with some more sweet pies, and then we're starting out July hot with a savory pie. I'm really excited. Okay, I'm gonna stop being weird now. And um, yeah, let's get started. All right, y'all, so we have, um, five cups worth of blackberries and blueberries, or they're about, we might be a little under, but it'll work for today. Um, and then we have our tapioca flour, sugar, and I'm gonna put in a bit of salt here in our little bowls. I did have to split it up because I'm out of medium-sized bowls, so we have two small bowls, but that's all right. Um, so yeah. Do do do. Keep mixing. Looks good. And we're just gonna toss them in. Wonderful. Um, now I'll get our little handy dandy spatula so we can mix this up. Okay. Oh, also, I forgot to say earlier what we're celebrating today. Because every day is a celebration, and the best way to celebrate is with pie, at least in my mind. Um, today, we are actually, I'm giving this pie to a very close friend of mine. You've met him before, uh, Jacob. He was the graduation we attended back in my second video. Um, so since I am, again, um, working tonight, um, I thought we might as well take some over to them. All right, I'm starting to crush berries, so I'm gonna let this coexist for a minute. Okay. Meanwhile, let me finish what I was saying. So I'm working tonight. Um, I took some cookies to the park yesterday just because we really needed a morale boost, but I was figuring, you know, let's send this pie off to someone else. So we're gonna send it over to the Domalewskis and hopefully they'll enjoy it. We'll see at the end of the video. Um, so yeah, now I am going to make our, yeah, we're gonna make our lattice crust. So I'll be back with you in a bit. All right, y'all. So it's time to lattice up. So we've got our crust dust and our crust. So I'm gonna set this on a little counter here. And we're gonna dump our berry mixture into there. Ooh. Just make sure we get all of the dry ingredients with it. Like, real talk, y'all, I think I'm really off today. Like, something just isn't working. Like, this crust is one that I made from, like, the past days, but I just made more, like, crust to make the lattice top, and it's like, I don't know, it's just, it's not right, and this pie just doesn't look right, and I'm just kind of concerned. So, like, yeah, Lily's just a little stressed. About this. So we'll see what happens. Just gonna smush her in. Make sure there's a little bit everywhere. Come on. Okay, that's good. Enough. Okay, 
So now we're going to start laying our lattice down. So just like last time, I'm going to start with our vertical pieces. And then we'll do horizontal pieces. make a horizontal. So we're going to start up here like we usually do. Let's see how many places I can break this cross. Like I said, so this lattice just doesn't want to stay together today. I don't know, guys. We're doing our best. Which is what we always do. We try really hard. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. You know what? That's okay. not going to be long enough in the slightest. Again, as long as it tastes good, it doesn't have to be pretty. But <laughs> I don't even know how this is gonna taste, y'all. I'm we're struggling today. not hope y'all that this turns out <sighs> but y'all I'm scared you can also tell that I'm exhausted because I'm saying y'all every five minutes so story time uh, my dog Rosie which you've seen a couple times now she hates storms like with a passion and she usually doesn't sleep in my room but last night she was like I'm gonna sleep with Lily and I was like oh because like she's getting old so like I kind of treasure every minute that I have with her but I was not treasuring this morning when she woke me up at 1am and was like it's storming I don't want to do this and was like very upset and would not let me go to sleep. It was just such a fun time. Like, God bless her little heart, but it's like, Rosie, I have stuff to do today. Mm -hmm. Okay, as sad as this looks, we're gonna call it good. Um, so now it's time to crimp. Again, my crimping technique is weird. We can discuss it, or we can just pretend like it's not happening. Either way is fine with me. <laughs> All 
All right. So, with a little bit of movement, right here. Yeah, there's our crimp. Um, so now it's time to um, hopefully save this by popping it in the freezer for 20 minutes. And while that's going, I'll put this in here first. Hey Google, set a timer for 20 minutes. All right, 20 minutes, starting now. Cool, um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and preheat our oven. Yeah, nothing's in it. <laughs> preheat to 400 degrees. And yeah, um, I'll be back in 20 minutes. We will put our pie wash and our sugar, and then we'll bake it off and see what happens. All right, y'all, we're back. They've got our pie out of the freezer. It is looking real rough. But we're gonna, you know, we're gonna make it. We're gonna bake it off. And we're just gonna let it happen. I think it'll be good when I can get away from fruit pies for a bit. Maybe, maybe I'm just burnt out on them, I don't know. I was like literally no milk left <laughs> for this pie wash. I really need to go grocery shopping again. We'll get there. Douse our little pie. Liberally doused our little dear, beautiful thing. And I've made a mess, so. I'm like really sorry, guys. I promise that I'm okay. I'm just like so insanely out of it today. standing sugar. Thankfully our oven is fully preheated and ready for us to stick this in. We're just going to do a light little shake, shake, shake. I think everything here has now been covered. Rosie's finally awake from her nap, so. Okay, throw that in there. We will put it our pie in. Whoa. Place our pie in our pie ring. And throw her in the oven.
Hopefully I'll be able to show you when it comes out. Um, it is going to be close to the time where I need to go to work. So we'll figure something out. But yeah. Uh, hey Google. Set a timer for 20. Hey Google. Set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Starting now. All right, and I'm setting the oven timer for 45 because that's how long it really needs, but at 20, we will rotate it. So I will see you in 45 minutes, hopefully. All right, Frank, you were back. We're going to try out Who's Your Pie Girl's new pie. It's a mixed berry. They gave it to me two days ago. I let it sit in my fridge. I haven't had a chance to eat it. Now, I did goof on cutting this and um, broke off some of the crust. So, you know, we do a first bite. First bite we're going to do is going to be just the fruit and the bottom crust. Um, just looking at it right away, crust looks like it's firm, it's set well. Um, berries look well, and I, if I had to say this is going into sangria fermented. So we're going to do a taste of just the interior, and then we'll move to the individual crust. Okay, I let that sit too long. So the juice inside of the pie pan did make the bottom crust a little soft. The berries do quite well. They pair well together. I'm just going to use my hands and break this off. Um, I don't know if she used stevia or sugar, but we're going to find out how the actual crust tastes on top that hasn't been soaked. Oh. All right, I only get one bite. Too juicy in the pan. I forgot to show that. But um, I'm going to rank this a 